In power system analysis, especially for load flow studies, the classification of buses is critical for solving power flow equations. A bus in a power system is simply a node where one or more components, such as generators, loads, or transmission lines, are connected. Based on the available data and the role of the bus, they are categorized into different types. In the context of load flow studies also known as power flow analysis, the goal is to determine the voltage magnitude, phase angle, act active power, and reactive power at various buses nodes in a power system. The newton raphson method and the Gauss-Seidel method are typically used for solving the non-linear algebraic equations governing power flow. Here's a more detailed breakdown of the buses in the context of power system operation. Load bus PQ bus. The load bus is a bus where real power P and reactive power Q are specified, but the voltage magnitude and phase angle need to be determined. Variables known, real power P and reactive power Q, variables unknown, voltage magnitude V and voltage angle. The majority of the buses in a power system are load buses because loads consume both active and reactive power. In load flow analysis, this is where consumer demand is modeled. Example, a distribution substation where loads like industries, commercial buildings, or residential areas are connected. Real world scenario. In real world power systems, a significant portion of the buses is load buses representing points where power is consumed by different customers. These loads can vary throughout the day, especially in residential areas due to lighting, air conditioning, or appliances. Industrial loads can also have complex power requirements, including heavy machinery or induction motors. Reactive power impact for certain loads like motors or air conditioners, the power consumed is not purely active real power, P, but also reactive Q which is crucial for maintaining voltage levels. Reactive power management is essential because insufficient reactive power can lead to voltage, voltage drops and system instability. Power factor, load buses are often assessed based on their power factor, which is the ratio of real power P to apparent power S. A low power factor indicates a high proportion of reactive power, leading to inefficiencies. Generator bus PV bus or voltage controlled bus. A generator bus is one where real power P and voltage magnitude V are specified. The system controls the reactive power generation to maintain a constant voltage at this bus. Variables known, real power P and voltage magnitude V. Variables unknown, reactive power Q and voltage angle. Generator buses help control voltage levels within a power system. They are responsible for maintaining voltage by adjusting the reactive power output. Example, a bus where a power plant is connected, maintaining the voltage to ensure system stability. Voltage regulation. At generator buses, the voltage magnitude is kept constant by adjusting the reactive power output of the generator. This helps maintain voltage levels across the grid, which is essential for the stability and reliability of power delivery. AVR Automatic Voltage Regulator Most generators are equipped with an AVR that senses voltage levels and adjusts the generator's excitation to maintain a set voltage level. This is why the voltage magnitude V is specified for PV buses, as the generator compensates for reactive power variations automatically. Limits on reactive power Generator buses cannot supply unlimited reactive power. There are physical limits based on the generator's capacity beyond which the bus could be converted from a PV bus to a PQ bus. This transition occurs if the generator cannot maintain the required voltage while staying within its reactive power limits. Slack bus, swing bus, or reference bus. The slack bus is a special type of bus used in power flow studies. It is designated to balance the active and reactive power in the system because of system losses and inaccuracies in demand forecasting. Variables known, voltage magnitude V and voltage angle, typically set to 1.0 per unit PU and 0 degrees, respectively. Variables unknown, real power P and reactive power Q. The slack bus provides the reference for the phase angles and absorbs the discrepancy in power flow calculations adjusting to balance generation and load across the system.
there is only one slack bus in a system. Example, a major generation bus in a transmission system, often linked to the main control point of a large utility. Balancing real power, in any power system, the total generation should be equal to the total load plus the transmission losses. However, these losses cannot be calculated directly until the load flow is solved. The slack bus provides the necessary balancing by adjusting its real power P to match the system losses. Reactive power balance, the slack bus also absorbs any discrepancies in reactive power. This balancing function ensures that the reactive power across the network is maintained, which is crucial for voltage stability. Only one slack bus, there is typically only one slack bus in a power system. This is because multiple buses adjusting for system-wide discrepancies, discrepancies can cause inconsistencies in solving the load flow equations. Reference bus for angle, the voltage angle of the slack bus is typically set to zero degrees. This provides a reference point for the calculation of phase angles at other buses, ensuring consistency across the system. Swing bus, alternative name for slack bus, the swing bus is essentially another term for the slack bus. Its role is the same, acting as the balance point for the system by supplying the additional power needed to cover system losses. Variables known, voltage magnitude V and voltage angle. Variables unknown, real power P and reactive power Q, ensures that the total generation equals the total load plus losses, stabilizing the system. Example, same as the slack bus, typically a central power station or a control point. Voltage controlled bus another name for PV bus, this is just another term for the generator bus, where the voltage is regulated by adjust adjusting reactive power output. Ensures voltage stability across the grid by controlling voltage levels. Variables known, real power P and voltage magnitude V, variables unknown, reactive power Q and voltage angle. Example, generator buses in power plants, ensuring voltage control at the point of power generation. Reactive power control and bus type transitions, under voltage, over voltage conditions, if a bus experiences significant deviations in voltage, it can affect the type of bus it is classified as. For example, if a generator bus PV is unable to maintain its voltage due to exceeding its reactive power limits, it may temporarily operate as a PQ bus. Capacitor banks and SVCs, capacitor banks or static VAR compensators SVCs are often installed at buses to help manage reactive power locally.